Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Eric, and today what we're going to be working on is a Kubota B3030, and the issue is that it's leaking out of the front hubs on the four-wheel drive unit. So we have front drive seals that we're going to re have to replace. He said that he's doing it on both sides. We see where it's doing it on one, but the kind of philosophy we have here is if that one's going, then the other one is soon to follow. And as we get into it, we'll find out because sometimes a seal goes bad because there's a reason, you know, and that can be a bad bearing where it's not, it's allowing too much chuck movement to make the seal rounded, oval and set around and it will start leaking there. But hang tight. So what Paul is doing is we need to get the bolts all the way around it. That's the first thing you need to do. We took the tires off from it. We used the jack stands to load it to lift it up and then put the jack stands under it for stability. But you've got to take all the bolts out around the housing. Some of you guys commented you like to see some of the equipment being done, so that's what we're doing. I'm going to try to do it. Claude in front of the camera. Usually it's the other way around, but he can't operate the camera, so I'm the camera guy today. There's a notch in there that he's going to try to break free. Sometimes it comes far easy, sometimes it's hard. We're using a special set of screwdrivers that have the metal end so you can pound on it. Make sure you got a good pail underneath because you're going to lose some 90 weight gear oil. That must be Danny waiting there. there. Yep. The distractor came in because he felt that both front axle seals were leaking, so. In order to know what you're going to order for parts, you got to get it apart to see what's wrong with it. So we cleaned off a shelf or a table so we could work off from it. And we have to take the bearing off first, which on the outside. Sometimes they come easy, sometimes they come hard. Claude even does what I do, where you set stuff closest to you on how it come apart. So he's setting that that direction, and massive bear, bearing failure is the cause of this one. Yeah. So is that That's why the kind of the leaky seal. Yeah. Yeah. As you can see, pieces of the. The bearing all over the place. But I knew it had to fail somewhere to have it start leaking around the seal. Gotta have a new snap ring. That looks like it's supposed to be a two piece. And it is a two piece. Yeah, I found it on Mesnix. See any scoring 
on the actual shaft. Looks pretty good. We're going to have to drive it that way. What's that? To get that bearing in it. Out that way. Yep. Spacer. Goes on the bearing. Yep. Probably did that with a socket too, couldn't you? Both sides. And we can pop the other one apart quick and see what it looks like. And then we do have enough red uh, silicone. So now you're just going to do just the same thing you did the other side. Is get the bolts out. Next thing is take your time. Speed comes with experience. And you got to remember where everything goes. So when you're taking it apart, make sure you... Another good way is to have your camera and take a picture of what it looks like. There's a notch to start in. Plus, putting the screwdriver slash. And once it starts to open, don't put a lot of pressure on it because you can break those housings. Thunder and lightning in the background. Like I say, sometimes they come easy, sometimes they don't. This one here is being the pain in the backside. Got to recommend a cloth about using gear pulleys. Yes,
still moving. Still moving. snap ring in there. downpouring outside right now. All right, like I said to you guys, that I show you how to find the parts that you need. And if you this customer wants OEM Kubota parts, and if you're looking online to get parts and get them quickly, I highly recommend Mesnix, you know, for OEM Kubota. And the one that we're working on today is a, a B3030. So let's online parts. Let's go to Kubota. Once we're here at Kubota, All right, so it's going to drop down to all these different results. We know that ours is just the ROPS, plain Jane. So we'll click on that. And then in order to find what you need, you want to go to the center section where it has select your diagram. And from there, we're going to put down front axle, right? Because that's where we're at. And then... Go to that. And here's the hub breakdown of what we have. Here's the seal that we need. And then here's the bearing that we need. And the clip in there is actually a two piece. So that's all right. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to order the bearing this will be the seal and the bearing for the front because you might as well do it while you're right there and then pick yourself up a, a thing of either red or blue silicone and you're going to have to silicone this seal because there is no gasket for it so it's just straight up silicone <coughs> excuse me so let's start with we know 050 is the is the bearing number that we need so let's go down to here 
and here it is it's 12.55 a piece they got 94 in stock they can tell you tips and tricks on how to get it installed so you're going to want to add two of those to your cart and keep shopping you're going to scroll down to 080 now you're going to notice that there's two options here but it's actually one option it's the same seal no matter how you look at it so you're going to need two of these add to cart and from there you're just going to go ahead and do a you know finish the the order checkout and it's going to bring you to you know your name address with me I've already got an account with them as a dealer so I get a kind of a dealer break on it and I already put this order in about an hour ago so it'll be here tomorrow so we can get it all put back together and then tomorrow's video will be putting everything all back together all right thanks so much for watching